Hello, welcome to Lorbeck Luxury Cars. I'm Harry and on this edition of the Friday Drive-By, I've viewed this, our 1959 Ferrari 196 S recreation. Lovingly crafted by Vincenzo Marciano, if I got that right, in Tuscany, which is in Italy, this is the ultimate recreation of the 196 Estino, which due to increased demand for sporting and early Ferraris, is now a $15 million proposition. Under the bonnet is a 2.4 litre 4 cam V6 Dino engine, which is wired up to a 5 speed ZF gearbox to give it the most authentic experience possible while still being easy to maintain. So, let's jump in and go for a quick journey down Ferrari memory lane. Oh, gotta get in the bloody thing though. Success. When we think of Ferrari today, we think of a powerhouse automotive manufacturer with the most powerful brand in the world. But the era of Ferrari from its first car in 1947, the 1.5 litre V12 125 Sport, to the 196S Dino is a rocky story of a fledgling company working, essentially, out of a shed. Enzo Ferrari had little interest in building road cars. His passion was Scuderia Ferrari which is what we now know to be the racing division of Ferrari. It was only a need for money to keep Scuderia Ferrari alive, which demanded they build road cars for gentlemen racers. However unhappy this made the tall man, by producing cars like the 166, 195 and 212 Inter, the 410 Super America and the 250 GT E, did allow them to build some epic race cars, like the 250mm, 290mm, 375mm, and the 335S and the 750 Monza. It has also allowed Ferrari to produce V6 powered Ferraris on the new Dino brand, named in honour of Ferrari's late son, the first of which was the 196S Dino. Its stunning look, successful race pedigree and innovative powertrain has made the 196S an early Ferrari icon which today commands values of well over $15 million. So I guess you're asking what it's like to drive. Well, to be honest, in a word, kind of easy. Yes, the lack of a proper windscreen has its downsides, like my really bad hair. But you know what? Being able to drive, excuse that, an almost open car is a novelty we don't really ever get to experience anymore. So it's a great deal of fun. And even though this isn't the original article, you still get the same sense that you're driving or you've got the same experience as what Peter Collins did when he was driving the original 196S round Goodwood. It's the smell, it's the noise, it's the vibration, it's the fumes which give a sense of occasion which anything else doesn't really give you. And the construction has a sense of authenticity which very few recreations ever have anymore or ever really have had. So if you want something a bit special, a car that will give you a thrill that few other cars will, and a car that celebrates a history from the most romantic era of motorsport, and you don't have or don't want to spend $15 million, then come down to Lorbeck Luxury Cars and buy our Vincenzo Marciano Ferrari 196S Dino recreation today. We'll see you next week.